today on The Attic Man. Hello there, my name is Mario Lopez. I'm the owner and operator of Attic Man Heating and Air and Insulation in Sacramento, California. Our show, The Attic Men, will revolve around our very interesting, but not known to much of the public, industry of heating and air conditioning. Our show will focus on three main points, knowledge and education. Most homeowners have no idea how their heating and air conditioning system works, how to handle slimy salesmen heating and air conditioning contractors, or what to look for when paying for their very expensive heating and air conditioning equipment. Two, drama from falling through attics and almost landing on people's pets, from dropping $5,000 pieces of equipment on a freeway and smashing into the other cars, to getting attacked by families of squirrels in the attic. We have been through it all. Three, fun. We're young, we're good at what we do, and we make great money for our age. We love to use our profits to have fun. From skydiving to blowing things up and driving expensive cars, we've done all of those things and we continue to do more. We know the show will be successful, and we hope that you will too. Thank you. So today we got a service call. Uh, this guy has no heat in his furnace, so we're gonna go check it out and see what's going on. Hey, Mario. Hi. Yeah, afternoon. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm here to uh, service your furnace today. Okay, cool. Yeah, it hasn't been working. Uh, we've been trying to get a guy up here for, for a couple weeks. So if you can give me a rundown, that'd be great. Sure, sure. So what we have here is a gas electric furnace. Pretty typical. You see this in most homes throughout the United States. Uh, it uses gas as a source of heat. Heat exchanger has a carbon monoxide that flows through it. Carbon monoxide flows through. This exhaust fan pulls it up and out of the home. Okay, so here's your heat exchanger. This is where the carbon monoxide flows through. As you can see right here on the second exchanger, we do have a crack. So that is what has compromised the system and why we have to change it out. So I checked out your furnace. Um, first of all, the unit is over 20 years old. They have an average lifespan of 15 to 20 years or so. Um, inside these furnaces, you have a heat exchanger. I did find a crack in your heat exchanger. Um, it is a danger to your family, you know, carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas. Cannot be breathing that in for too long before, <laughs> unfortunately, okay. you know. So um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a new furnace in there. Let's get you a new top of the line high quality system in there. Um, we can have it done today. So by the end of the day today, you will have your new unit up and running and you'll be good to go. Uh, Mario just introduced the price to me and it's, uh, it's pretty high. We're gonna see what we can work, see if you can work with me, and I uh, guess we'll just go from there. Okay. So we're gonna be putting new gas valve, flex, of course. This condo drain looks pretty shot. And uh, as you can see, this unit was leaking pretty bad. We got a lot of rust in the condensation catch pan, so we know we had some kind of issues going on. We're gonna go ahead and put a new pan in there as well. This looks uh, pretty bad. So today we're gonna to be looking at all the duct work as well as replacing the unit. These are R8 ducts, which are pretty good ducts. It's just, unfortunately, we have rats that have chewed, uh, chewed through all of the duct work. They can go through your entire duct work system and uh, you know leave feces, things like that, which will get into the air streams and is actually very toxic. So we're gonna go ahead and change all these out. So I'm just checking the register sizes. We got a six inch here. We got a 16 over here. They kind of run back here. Oh, Dude, are you serious right now? God, you really just did that. Yeah, that homeowner's not gonna be happy at all. This insulation can be slippery. If you don't have your footing just right, it'll come right down, just slip right off this beam. Unfortunately, looks like uh, Austin. Oh, your drywall. What the uh, f are we gonna do about that? You know what? This happens pretty often. <sighs> Not too often, but it does happen. I have a drywall guy. Let me give him a call and uh, I'll have him come right over. All right. We're gonna have that fixed looking good as new. Trust me, my drywall guy is one of the best in the business. Okay. All right. Oh my 
God! They just fell through my drywall. In my office where I work. They're gonna have to pay for it. Uh, that's, that's expensive and we're already working with something that's probably already gonna be expensive. So, I'm already better find a drywall guy and get it fixed or I'm gonna have to find another guy. So I called up Mario, our drywall guy. He's a specialist that comes in when these kind of things happen. He's gonna take care of it and make it look like nothing ever occurred. So I'm hiding from Mario. He's a little upset <laughs> about that drywall incident. So uh, I'm gonna try to give him a little scare. Austin. Austin. Hey boss. What the hell are you doing? I'm just uh, on my break. Are you kidding me? It's cold out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you out of there, Ray. Come on, get back to work. No. <laughs> back to work. <laughs> all right, new units in place. We're all finished. That's another profit in the bank. We're going to move on to the next one. Right now, it's time to celebrate with the drink. All right, sir, your new system's installed. Here's your new thermostat. This is going to control your heating and your air conditioning. Okay. You're all set, my man. Perfect. Enjoy. Awesome. Yeah, and actually, if you uh, turn on the heat, it'll get uh, hot. Thanks. <laughs> Good job, well done. All right. That was a good thing. Other than that drywall, I think we made out pretty good. Yeah, that's kind of dug into our pocket margin, but uh, things happen. 